The Kutub Minar, I've been going there very often since a child, but recently they've redone it, they've revamped it in the sense they've lit it. It is the most exquisite place on the planet, I think. And I always have this Norman Parkinson image in my head of a model from a 1956 Vogue shoot walking in some fluid semi-draped gown. And since we do a lot of pleated draping and we had a whole se selection of that, I thought, why? We must get permission to go shooting there because it'd be so beautiful. It's an image that I've stuck with and I'll get to go back and do our own versions. I mean, what could be more exquisite at a time like this? You've got Islamic architecture mixed with Hindu architecture. You've got these drapes and it's so contemporary. So it resonated with me at many different levels. I've often said this, when a man wears a dhoti or a woman wears a sari, it's never the same even though they're tying it on their own body. So the, the possibilities for the drape are like the titi, the pie, infinite. And every season we come up with 15, 20 more. It's how the drape story goes. Every time I put a piece of fabric on the dress form or onto a fit model, I get a new idea. And these will be going on forever. This is the language of India. It's not just color and embroidery. So it will always be a drape series.